Hello, it's a me. It's a me, Mario. Hang on. Mm. Hello, it's a ah. Keep doing an Italian accent. Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play. Oh, I've forgotten the name of the song now. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play an awkward duet by Dodie and John Cozart. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it's in tune, it should sound like this. And let's get ready to play an awkward duet. Before we begin, I'm just going to play you through a quick verse and chorus to give you a rough idea of what the song should sound like when you've learned it. One, two, three, four. Do you want to go first? Cause I'm happy to wait. I practiced really hard, but I'm finding it strange to start with you. Cause I can sing, I swear it's true I'm just a little nervous in front of you Because there are loads of different chords in this song and the strumming pattern changes all the time, I'm going to take you through it section by section. And the first thing we're going to do is start off by learning the intro, which is also the main riff that's repeated throughout the song. It's the bit that goes like this. Now there are just three chords for this. Firstly, the chord of F6, which is where you just bar the fifth fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. And the chord of F6 should sound like this. Now I'll warn you in advance, there's gonna be a lot of bar chords in this song. So if you're not that confident with bar chords yet, then check out my lesson first on how to play bar chords. The second chord is the chord of D minor. To play D minor, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the second fret of the third string. And the chord of D minor should sound like this. And the third chord you need is the chord of D minor seven. To play D minor seven, keep that D minor shape and add your fourth finger to the third fret of the first string. And the chord of D minor seven should sound like this. So to play the main riff on the F6, you need to play down, 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 up like this. And then on the D minor, you just play two upstrokes followed by a scrape like this. And then do the exact same thing with D minor seven, up, up, scrape. So you've got your down, 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 up on the F6. Then on the D minor, you've got up, up, scrape. And then on the D minor seven, up, up, scrape as well. So put it all together nice and slow and the main riff should sound like this. Just play that through twice for your intro. Then you play it for the first line of the verse as well. Do you wanna go first? And then you start to play the riff for the second line with the F6 to D minor. But this time instead of a D minor seven, you play an A diminished seven, which is where you bar the second fret with your first finger, then put your second finger on the third fret of the third string, and your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And the chord of A diminished seven should sound like this. So that second line of the verse will sound like this. Cause I'm happy to wait, I... Then the next line, the chords are B flat, add ninth to C7. Now again, both of those chords are a bit of a mouthful, so you will need to take a bit of time to practice them. To play B flat, add nine, I bar the first fret with my first finger, then I add my second finger to the second fret of the third string, and my third finger to the third fret of the fourth string. Then I add my fourth finger to the third fret of the first string, and the chord of B flat, add nine, should sound like this. And then there's a lot of different ways you can play C7, but on this song, I play it by barring the third fret and then adding my second finger to the fourth fret of the third string. And the chord of C7 should sound like this. 
So for the third line, I just played down, 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 up on the B flat add nine, and then one down stroke on the C7. And then on the U, you go back to that main riff, which you repeat twice before going into verse two. I practiced really hard, but I'm finding it strange to start with you. So let's put that all together and play through the intro and verse one now. One, two, three, four. I'm happy to wait. I practiced really hard, but I'm finding it strange to start with you. Then the good news is the chords for verse two, and indeed all of the other verses, are exactly the same as the chords for verse one. So verse one goes straight into verse two, and then after verse two, we go into the chorus. But before we go into the chorus, we repeat that main riff once again, like this. Then we play down, 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 up on the F6 chord and on F7. F6 is just that bar on the fifth fret like this. Down, 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 up. And then for F7, you keep that bar on the fifth fret, but you add your second finger to the sixth fret of the first string. And again, you just play that down, 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 up on the F7 as well like this. So the little interlude before the chorus sounds like this. And now we move into the chorus proper. And the good news is, although the chords are still a bit tricky, the strumming pattern becomes a nice and simple down, down, up, up, down, up pattern almost all the way through. The first line of the chorus, you play B flat to B flat minor. To play the chord of B flat, I bar the first and second strings on the first fret. Then I add my second finger to the second fret of the third string and my third finger to the third fret of the fourth string. And the chord of B flat should sound like this. And then to play the chord of B flat minor, I lift up my second finger and make sure that with my first and second finger, I'm barring the first three strings on the first fret. And the chord of B flat minor should sound like this. So with the down, down, up, up, down, up pattern on the B flat and the B flat minor, the first line should sound like this. Cause I can sing, I... And then you play the same pattern on the F6 and G7. And for G7, you just put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. And the chord of G7 should sound like this. So line two, which is F6 to G7, will sound like this. I swear it's true. And then the third line of the chorus is just one downstroke on B flat and one downstroke on C7. I'm just a little nervous in front of. And then we go back into that main riff before the next verse. You. So let's put that all together and play through the chorus. One, two, three, four. Cause I can sing, I swear. I'm just a little nervous in front of you. And from there we just go straight into the next verse. And the good news is all the verses and choruses have the same chords. In fact, there's only one little bit that's different and that's the cool vocal improvisation bit they do towards the end. And even then there are just two chords in it all the way through, the chords of F and G minor. Now you might already know those chords down here. But for this song, Dodie plays them up here. For the F, she bars the fifth fret like she does for the F6, and then adds her little finger to the eighth fret of the first string, and the chord of F sounds like this. And for the chord of G minor, just put your first finger on the fifth fret of the first string, your second finger on the sixth fret of the second string, and your third finger on the seventh fret of the third string, and leave the fourth string open. And up here, the chord of G minor will sound like this. Now, more or less, the whole way through, she just plays down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up on each chord. Sometimes she plays the full chord like this. And sometimes she just plays the first beat and then scrapes the rest of the notes like this. But however you want to play it, just play the F to G minor four times on each chord like this. 
Yeah, we sound good. 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 And so on and so on like that. F to G minor. All the way through. Yeah, we sound good. And just repeat that F to G minor while you do your vocal improvisations. And then at the end, if you want to do Dodie's little warble, just play one downstroke on the C. Yeah. Well, I won't pretend to be able to sing that bit. But to play that down chord on the C, just get your B flat shape and slide it up two frets, and it should sound like this. Yeah, yeah. And that bit will just take you into the final verse and chorus. And then the ending is nice and simple. It's just E6 to F6, one down stroke on each chord, like this. Well, we know F6 is just a bar chord on the fifth fret. Well, E6 is just a bar chord on the fourth fret. So it's just. Like that. And there you have your ending. So put it all together and that's how to play An Awkward Duet by Doddle Oddle and John Kozar. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.